Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, thanks so much for listening today. Uh, you probably know this if you listen to podcasts, but your willingness to rate and review what you've just heard is a huge blessing to our ministry. Uh, really, without that, it's almost impossible for people to find us and be blessed by us. So would you take just a second to rate and review this podcast? Thank you so much. The other day, my wife and I went for a hike. And it was a little bit of a drive, so we stopped for coffee along the way at this little coffee shop in a small town. And when we got our coffees, I noticed that there on the sleeve, there was a little message. It said, on this earth too, and then there was a blank. And that caught me off guard because I hadn't had nearly enough coffee for a question like that. But as I started to sip my coffee and wake up a little bit more, I started to think about how I would fill in that blank. I think you probably know some people who have a solid answer to that question. They're the kind of people that just live with a purpose. They have such clarity of purpose that it, it overflows into everything they do in their life. It's easy for them to get excited about things. They wake up just ready to go to work in the morning. They're just always driven and motivated and passionate. To be honest, I wasn't feeling all that driven or motivated or passionate that day as I looked at that coffee cup sleeve. It was hard for me to think about what I would put in that blank. What am I on this earth to do? Everything I thought about didn't seem significant enough to go in such a significant blank. Am I on this earth to be a pastor? Am I on this earth to be a dad, to be a husband? None of those things seemed significant enough to fill in such a significant blank. So I started to wonder, what am I really on this earth to do? And does the earth even notice that I'm here? Does the earth notice what I do? I started to have a little bit of a crisis right there in the coffee shop. But then I went for my hike, and I thought about it a little bit more over the days and weeks ahead. And what I came back to was the passage, Ephesians 2, verse 10. It says, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. There's a lot in that passage that's helpful. First of all, we're God's handiwork. So God made us, and God doesn't do anything by accident. So God made us on purpose. He also made us for a purpose. The passage says that we are created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God has prepared in advance for us to do. That means that God created me and he created you with a specific purpose in mind. See, God could have chosen anyone to do the things that you do. He could have chosen anyone to take care of your kids, to teach those students, to study in class, to work at your job. He could have chosen anyone to do any of those things, but he didn't. He chose you. Because there is no one on this earth with the exact same set of gifts and experiences and even struggles as you have. Those experiences and struggles in the past have prepared you for where you are now. And the experiences and the struggles that you have now may be preparing you for where God wants to put you in the future. God created you with a specific purpose in mind. You are where you are because God wants to use you to encourage or to build up the people in your life. God made you who you are so that you could fulfill the purpose that he has for you. So that means that even if it seems insignificant, the places you are now, the, the things that you're doing, everything has significance. Because God has literally made you for this moment. God has chosen you to be where you are and to do the things that you do. As a Christian, everything we do, whatever it is, is joined with God's saving purpose. We are a part of God's mission to share his love with the world. That is a purpose that's worth getting excited about. That is a purpose that shows you that every single thing you do matters. 
Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, it's so easy to get discouraged when we don't see the results we want of the things that we're doing. It's easy to think that what we do doesn't matter, that we are small and insignificant, but you show us in your word that what we do does matter because you've made us specifically for these moments. You've made us for the purpose that you have for us, to do the good works that you've prepared in advance for us to do. Help us to see that and to see the the meaning and the purpose that you place behind everything we do because it joins us to your saving purpose of sharing your love with the world. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.